just announced that all veterans exposed to toxins and hazards during military service will now be eligible for VA healthcare beginning March 5th, 2024. VA has called this one of the largest ever expansions of veterans healthcare. Hi, I'm Mike Lestrito from Chisholm, Chisholm and Kilpatrick, one of the largest veterans law firms in the United States. Today, I'm going to break down VA's announcement for you. Veterans who served in the Vietnam War, the Gulf War, Iraq, Afghanistan, the Global War on Terror, or any other combat zone after 9-11 will now be eligible to enroll directly in VA healthcare without first applying for VA benefits. Even veterans who never deployed but were engaged in Toxic Exposure Risk Activity, or TERA, in the United States will be eligible to enroll. VA healthcare eligibility was going to expand eventually due to the PAC Act, but this decision will move up that process by several years. Once veterans have been granted access to VA healthcare, the access continues for life. Since the PACT Act was signed into law on August 10, 2022, more than 500,000 veterans have enrolled in VA healthcare under a phased-in approach. This expansion of VA healthcare eliminates the phased-in approach, making millions of veterans eligible for VA healthcare up to eight years earlier than expected. VA described its goal as making the process easier for veterans. Eligible veterans can enroll directly in VA care without first applying for VA benefits. VA encourages all eligible veterans to visit va.gov pact or call 1-800-MY-VA-411 to learn more and apply for VA healthcare beginning March 5th. So let's take a look at some of the specific criteria for who's eligible. This expansion includes Vietnam veterans, Gulf War veterans, Iraq and Afghanistan War veterans, and veterans who deployed in support of the global war on terror. Any other post-9-11 combat zone should also be included, as well as veterans who never deployed but were known to be exposed to toxins or hazards while serving in the U.S. For a complete list of VA-recognized toxins and hazards, visit our website at cck-law.com forward slash blog. VA says that they will use all available information to determine if veterans were exposed to toxins and hazards, including military records and service connection. New enrollees will have access to a toxic exposure screening provided by their primary care physician and may be referred to a specialty care depending on the need. Veterans receiving treatment for exposure-related illnesses will not make co-payments for appointments related to that care. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest VA news on this announcement. Thank you.